We're going to learn how to list files in a directory using PHP so you can actually use that for whatever web app or whatever you're building. But basically there's some simple things you can do to read a directory. Basically what I have open right here is uh, I have basically I'm opening Cyberduck which is an FTP client and this is just a folder. This is my root directory and then just a folder. I have a bunch of files in here, a bunch of JPEGs, right? And I have a PHP file that I'm using. Basically what the goal of this is, is I want the PHP file when you go to it to list what's in the directory and I want it to create a text file of everything. So you're going to learn how to write a text file as well. So let's get started. First thing we need to open our PHP tags like we usually do. Okay. Now uh, we need basically a we need to tell it what path it is. So let's create a variable called path and we'll make that equal to dot. Now in Unix dot means current location. So the reason we're going to use current location is because dot means this directory. This is where the files are. If we were to choose make a new folder here and go into that folder we could do dot slash and then that directory. In this case we just want to use this directory so we're going to use dot. Okay, So that's going to be our path. Now we need to really we, we need to open a handler. We need to use a function in PHP called opendir. We need to open the directory. So that we're going to store that into a variable called handle. Basically this is our file handler. We're going to make that equal to a PHP function opendir and then we're going to pass it in the path. Basically we're telling PHP to open the path and store the handler into our handle variable. Okay, Now we want to store, we want to, we want to read the directory and as we read the directory it's going to read in a file at a time. So this is basic, so when we do the function read dir, this is actually needs to be in a loop. Okay, So we're going to put in a while loop and we're going to say while file new variable equals read dir and then our file handler, okay, so handle right there. And then that's one and then two. Basically, as we, we're going to do a while loop and we're going to store each file it finds into this variable. So now we can play with this variable. Well, what actually is this variable? Well, this variable actually is each file name, right? This is very, very convenient to use this. So we're just going to go ahead and say echo file. Then we're also going to add a br, a line break, so that way uh, we can actually read it line by line. Okay. And then let's, just for safety, uh, PHP will garbage collect for us, but we should always close the directory. Okay. It'll make code faster if you have really big code later on. So we're going to close the directory. Okay. And that's pretty much all it is. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Okay. And now let's pull up our browser uh, and, and refresh. And obviously, uh, I had something from there before, but when you go to list.php, it gives you uh, all these things, including the dot and dot dot. So what these dots are, are um, I know you can't see them in here because I'm hiding the invisibles, but uh, basically this is the previous directory. See, dot, I'm sorry, dot is current directory, exactly what I said earlier, and dot dot is the uh, previous directory but we don't want those in our listing so let's write some code here that will get rid of those so before we echo it out let's test um, if so we're gonna kill them both at once you can test for each one but we're gonna say uh, if now we're gonna substring str we're gonna take in the file name from 0 to 1 and we're gonna say if that does not equal dot right then parenthesis closes one and then the other then go ahead and echo it out. Basically, if the first character is a dot, and a dot is a hidden file in uh, Unix, uh, if it starts with a dot, then it's a hidden file. If it starts with a dot, don't even display it. So we'll save that, go back to Safari, and refresh, and I have a problem. So <laughs> let's take a look at what the problem might be. Uh, if substring file does not equal dot parenthesis, that means that I have too many parentheses. Save that and refresh. There we go. Okay, so now those dot dots are gone. Okay, you could do another test to get rid of the PHP file that we're actually using, but we're going to leave that there for now. But here we go. We actually have a list. So you could do a ton of stuff with this. I mean, you could imagine what you could do with this. You could put it in an array. You can make them links. You could display these pictures with images. I mean, there's a ton of things you could. I mean, actually, I think uh, just to be really quick, this wasn't part of the plan, but if you wanted to do uh, image source equals quote and then the file, um, I wonder if that will work. Let's try, let's go to try. Image source equals that. 
We'll get rid of our line break. Uh, let's just give that a shot. I don't think that'll work, actually. Maybe it will. Oh, it does work. Cool. So you can see uh, how easy it is to, to, to just... This is from a directory listing. You know, you can make a photo gallery out of this. At any rate, let's put that back uh, for now, and then let's uh, figure out how to write this to a file. Okay? So now that we have that, let's write this to a file. So starting off, uh, basically all you have to do is we're going to open a new variable called writer, and we're going to f open. Basically, we're going to open a file. It doesn't have to exist. So data.txt, it does not exist. It's fine. It doesn't have to. It'll automatically create it. And we're going to open this file for writing, which is w. Okay? And I'm going to put it in single quotes because I always have. Now, we're going to f write. Well, actually, we don't have anything to write yet. So let's actually create something to write. Let's create a string. So we're going to create a new string. We're going to call it data to write, and we're going to make that equal to blank. The reason we're making it open to blank is because in this while loop, we want to continue to write. So if I were to, I'm going to open this up, data to write dot equals, as in add to, you know, it's the same in JavaScript plus equals, but in PHP it's dot equals, file, and we're going to also add a backslash n so that it actually moves to the next line in the file, okay? If we if we did that, it would overwrite that line every single time. If we did that and didn't have this, it would throw an error because the variable was never initialized. You can't add to something it doesn't exist. Okay, so we do that first to initialize it, and then we add to it each time. Right now, we need to write to our file. So f write is the PHP function, and we're going to write uh, to our writer function, and we're going to pass it the data to write. Very simple, right? Then we are going to, again, close, f close, and we're going to close our writer function. There you go. Now, when we save, okay, and we refresh, nothing's going to look different here, but if we go back to our FTP, refresh, there's a new file, double-click to open it, and here is a text file with that entire listing. So you can see how easy it is to create a whole listing and to, to read a directory to do all sorts of things. So take this and mill it in your web apps um, and, and just go it and run with it. But hope you learned a lot here uh, figuring out how to do this the very simplest way.